Welcome to chapter seven. I'm Dr. Dye. Glad to have you with me again. We are going to be discussing the cellular basis for inheritance during this video series. So reproduction is characterized by offspring that closely resemble their parents. Um, this is a fundamental trait of all living organisms, but resemblance does not necessarily mean that you're identical. Um, there are some single-celled and a few multicellular organisms that can create genetically identical copies um, through mitosis. Uh, many single-celled organisms do this, uh, but most um, multicellular organisms, as well as single-celled organisms, are going to use alternate pathways um, for their regular reproduction. They're not going to use mitosis. You know, we talked about prokaryotes in the previous chapter using binary fission, which is basically mitosis, sort of. Um, but what we're going to see now for when we really look at reproduction, it's a little bit different. So in genetics, a parent is often going to refer to the individuals contributing genetic material, typically gametes. Um, so the genetic parent concept differs from social and legal parenthood uh, and may not align with who people consider their parents. Uh, so it's just something to keep in mind that when I, I use the term parent, I'm referring to the uh, DNA donator, if you will. Um, in the animal kingdom, traits associated with sexual reproduction, like parental care and sexual behavior, are not universal. We, we see a huge range of diversity when it comes to this. Sexual reproduction involves producing haploid cells with each genetic parent contributing one haploid cell uh, that will then fuse and result in a unique diploid cell. In multicellular organisms, this diploid cell undergoes mitotic divisions to develop into an adult. Uh, meiosis is a type of cell division that's used specifically to produce haploid cells um, in the sexual reproduction cycle. So this is really important to remember that once the once you have fusion of gametes, those those cells are going to be doing mitosis from there on out until puberty and you start producing your own sexual cells depending on the organism. So meiosis is not the process that creates the zygote. Meiosis is the process that creates the gametes that will fuse to become the zygote. And a lot of students do tend to mix that up. And we'll talk about it more as we dig into the content. Um, so again, sexual reproduction, specifically meiosis, followed by fertilization, separate those two things out, um, is going to introduce variation among the offspring, right? It's going to contribute to um, evolutionary success of sexual reproduction. This is where we get all that variety. You know, we mix up the traits we have that we got from our own parents, and then we combine those with, you know, the other genetic parent to create this unique offspring. Um, so that's what we're going to be looking at for the next few videos. I'll see you in the next one.